of one. Just how exciting was that stretch for you guys? Yeah, it was great to see. Um, you know, we thought we were just okay in the first two periods. Um, we wanted to make it an emphasis to come out in the third, the first five minutes, and put pucks on net. And we did a good job of that. Got some bounces too, and guys were crashing the net, so it was a good job. Technically, this was an exhibition game, but you guys didn't play like it. The energy level seemed like it was off the charts. You know, just kind of talk about that that aspect. You guys, I mean, just all over the ice, defensive zone. I mean, you guys are flying everywhere. Just kind of talk about the energy level. Yeah, I mean, it obviously helped. We got some bodies in the lineup. Um, you know, we had 15 forwards and 8D, so we had a bunch of guys that could go, and I thought everyone played hard and played physical. And, um, you know, obviously it was our first time in the new rink with the new, the new end there, so... Um, it was good to see, and obviously the student section came out and was really loud, so the energy was really good. That, you know, with tonight and then, you know, last weekend getting the sweep at Mercyhurst, you know, how exciting is the start, you know, obviously under Coach Williams and everything to to kind of just start establishing that, what, that winning culture already? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, it's a great start. I think we did a good job last weekend finishing out games um, two different ways, two, two, one, and five, four, so that's great to see. Um, you know, obviously today was a step in the right direction and get out there Sunday, same thing, take a step in the right direction. And then obviously next week's a big week for us. So Um, yeah, uh, I'm sure Fozy up front can speak a little bit different for the forwards, but the D we had eight of us. So I was able to play with, you know, Gustav Sternberg pretty much the whole game and I think we have some really good chemistry going, so it was good to get out there with him. But um, I thought we looked good. Yeah, and uh, you know, at the end of last season, on the new season, finally get back on home ice. Mm -hmm. What was that feel like? Your reaction to the stage? It's uh, it's awesome. Um, you know, you never want to take your health for granted, and um, you know, last year I struggled with a little bit of a knee injury there for eight to ten weeks, and then obviously had off-season shoulder surgery. So um, just to be out in the slate and be there with the guys just kind of puts a smile on your face. And um, you know, it was great intensity. It was a good battle out there, and I thought we did a really good job. Question that that flurry of scoring there in the third period that really opened things up. You know how exciting was that? How much does you know one goal going in feed off and give the energy to the other guys to keep going? Yeah, I think in the second intermission we kind of felt that we hadn't, even though we were winning, we hadn't played our best hockey yet, and it was a team that you know we thought we could get some bounces on, we could get some find a way to get some pucks in the net, and you know Willie kind of ripped into us and gave us a little bit of a, even though we're winning, we're not playing good enough, so let's kind of pick it up here and. I think the guys responded really well. Obviously, it came on and scored, but I think three shifts in a row. So, yeah, I think we, we did a great job with that in the third. Can you talk about just the mindset going into this game? You know, technically an exhibition, but, you know, this is another an opportunity, you know, to get on the ice, you know, and obviously a game like atmosphere. Just talk about just the mindset mentality for you guys at the end of this. Yeah, I think Dalton summed it up pretty well. Like, you can never really take being on the hockey sheet for granted. I mean, the new rink out there, we found a couple, found a way to get some fans in. You know, people had family coming in, and everyone's just – Anytime they get a chance to put on the jersey and play on the slate, it's always a blast. So can't really make it any better. Talk about just the atmosphere. You know, pretty decent crowd. You know, obviously with the, the new the improvements to Slater and everything, uh, just kind of talk about just kind of the atmosphere in general here. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's my favorite rink that I've played in in a long time. Um, you know, I tell the recruits when they get to town, it's like this is – they always ask who is the best rank, and I always say, I, I think we do. Like, nobody really knows. It's kind of a hidden gem, but as soon as it gets packed and that metal roof gets echoing, it's a blast in there. So I think it's the best rank in the world. And then just talk about just the energy level as well. I mean, you guys are just going full speed everywhere. You know, even shorthanded, you guys are checking everyone in the defensive zone. Just kind of talk about just, just the overall intensity of the team when, when you guys are out there. It seemed like every second you guys are flying around. Yeah, I think it stems from our coaching staff down to our leaders down and feeds into everybody. I mean, we've been working our tails off for the last five months or five weeks before playing games. I mean, I, I think you're hard-pressed to find a team that's been practicing harder and been skating more. So I think that's showing dividends in, out there. And obviously, if you're saying we're, we look like we're going fast, I guess we're going fast. So it feels good. We're in great shape and we're, we're ready to skate. With the opportunity to the goal, just how much time and effort do you have to put in to kind of match what you have and have the opportunity yeah, honestly, funny enough, I've been working on it this week, and I've, I was pretty horrible at it all week at practice. I was missing everything, and people were kind of ripping me a little bit about it, but it's kind of nice to do in the game. But um, no, it, it's a skill for sure. I credit to all the guys that are really good at it. I, I lucked one out today, but um, there are some guys who are out there tipping with their butt ends at practice and kind of just, they never seem to miss. So yeah, it is definitely a skill. I, I don't quite possess it as good as I want to yet, but it, it is. Mm -hmm. 
I think um, individually, it's been it's been nice. I mean, a lot of, a number of guys could have gotten that award. Um, even on our team, a lot of guys had great weekends, and I was fortunate enough to to be the name be named it. Um, I don't think I did anything extraordinary that other guys didn't do. It just happened to go my way. Um, as far as the team start, I mean, I think the whole since the new renovations and new staff coming in, new money being poured into the program, I think there's just a different energy around it this year, and you can feel it. We feel it at practice. We feel it at the rink, and even with the half full building today, we could feel it from the fans. So I think that the energy surrounding the team is great, and we're really excited to get started with our conference play for sure. Exhibition game. A lot of guys got puck touches. A lot of areas we can build off of. Uh, liked our third period. I didn't like our first two periods in the sense that I thought we were perimeter and not hard enough in the inside the dots and. And again, not because we scored in the third, but we started generating more offense zone time, uh, getting that front. And if you do that, you're probably going to get rewarded. So much better third uh, out of it. But again, it's uh, a lot of guys, when you can score seven goals in a game, it obviously builds a lot of confidence amongst our players. Coach, this entire offseason, you know, we talked about your return back to bowling. I know you said it was an exhibition game. What that mean to be behind that bench once again? Yeah, it was fun. You know, it, uh, it's, it's been some time, you know, actually when I was here last, we were on the other bench on the other side. So, you know, I came out and I felt like I was a little bit of a visitor, I guess, on this side out of it. But um, it, 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 it's good. You know, it, it's fun to be back. You know, it's a loud rink. Um, you know, I, I thought everything from, you know, the new lighting out there is, is a big difference for us. Um, and again, our, our, our players love playing at home, you know, and, and uh, we got to continue to you know, do what we do and, and compete like we did in the third. And now we just got to find a consistency to it so that at the end of the day, our uh, our fans, our our college fan base, our community, you know, is, is really supportive of, of our style of play. It still felt like to see intensity level was was pretty high on the defensive zone. Mm-hmm. I mean, you guys are shorthanding, you guys are still checking everyone on defense. Like, just – Obviously, that's probably the style you want to play. Can you mm-hmm. just talk about that a little bit? Yeah. Just, I mean, even though it was an exhibition, I mean, you yeah. guys really, I felt like, you know, you guys were playing pretty tough. Yeah, you know, I said this week on you know, on one of the radio shows, like, exhibition such a bad word. You know, there's no exhibition games. You you have to, I, I said, I, I, I on Christmas Eve, I still go to win games against my family. You know, if I'm playing cards with my kids or whatever it is, Monopoly, Snakes and Ladders, like, I, I want to win it. You know, and so I said to our players, even though it's an exhibition game, we still have to play the game to win, you know, off it. And um, as we, we, we had five, five lines, eight D. Hard to get some rhythm there sometimes out of it, but uh, I'm a big believer. Let's let's fall forward, you know. Let's fail forward. Like let's play on our toes. Let's make them make four or five good passes. If they beat us on that, well, then they beat us. You know, that's how it, how, how I like to play. Um, I thought we did a really good job clogging up the neutral zone. Um, you know, in that one one three there and making them you know dump pucks and, and force them to only have one man four checks off it. And but it's it's you have to be relentless. You know, I thought our penalty kill were on their toes. We used a lot of different players too, which is nice. And and uh, like I said, so there's a lot of positives there we can build off of. Between tonight and the sweep last week at Mercy, it's just kind of how exciting is the start to you know to get the wins to try to really establish that winning culture and to get off to a start like this. You know, how just kind of exciting yeah. is that for the program. Well, it's always, like I just said, we're, we're in there as a staff already watching film. And, uh, you know, we're kind of in a situation where you think we probably lost 7-2. And I actually said it's a lot nicer to be able to score goals and continue to learn. I think it's really important that we stay even keel throughout this. Uh, but they, they got to enjoy it. They enjoy it tonight. You know, they can play their wind song and get a good cool down and a meal in them. And tomorrow when they get up, you know, it's a new day. You know, and we got to continue to get better. Um, we said how long it's never too high or too low. Even if we lost these first three games, we still got to be even keel and uh, be able to come the next day and, and work to get better. So we're not a, I, I think if you, if you look at our group, we're, we're not a team that, that will get too full of ourselves. A, I won't let them, you know, and, and, and B, the leadership in there really holds guys accountable and, and down earth. They could hear them in between the second and third, like we weren't playing our, our game yet. Like, and, uh, but we, we're not going to be able to turn it on for one period. You know, like if you think you're going to play 20 minutes of hockey, you're not going to win a lot of hockey games. And tonight we played roughly 20 minutes and we were able to get the win. So I'd like to see a little more consistency out of our group. Even though the maybe struggle a little bit in the first period, how 
big with Maxwell's goal after they scored less than a minute in. They yeah. To try and get things back on track. Yeah. So, you know, the uh, momentum shifts are huge, right? And, and to get that goal and, and um, you know, it's, you know, and anytime you can tilt the ice back. So we got that, that second goal right after they, they challenged the, the hit from behind him. And, uh, you know, it's funny how the game of hockey goes. We didn't do anything, I'd say, spectacular. We just started putting pucks to the net, started getting bodies to the net, and imagine that good things happen, you know. And uh, as I said to them, we're not reinventing the game. We're just, we, we, we want to play a consistent game. And I always say consistent's boring. Well, then winning's boring, I guess. Because if you look at the best teams in whatever sport they play, they consistently play at a high level. They can execute plays. They play with structure. And I said to the guys, it's it's it can sometimes be boring, but boring also wins your hockey games. And uh, but also today, I loved our physicality. I loved our, our compete at times. I thought we were really strong on pucks and, and throwing our weight around. And um, penalty kill was good again. Yeah, you said initial was a bad, like a, a bad word, but you know, mm-hmm. you have this week you have a game Thursday and Sunday. Next yeah. week you have another weird schedule with a Thursday and Saturday. Yeah, it's it's definitely different, right? Like it's uh, you know tomorrow will be a day off for a group, and we'll be able to get you know reset for Sunday, uh, get a good skate Saturday, and and like you said, it's a it's a little bit different when we have to quickly turn around to Thursday, you know, off it. But uh, like I said, guys, it's it's listen. We, I came out of a league where we play seven, three and threes in a year and five, four and five. So, you know, it, it will just, uh, you know, adapt over it. And, and, and the biggest thing out of these exhibition games and these games is, is to make my life difficult on what lineup we go into next Thursday in Kalamazoo. So um, we get one more game where we're put guys in some different situations and, and uh, you know, see how it goes Sunday. And then we as a staff got to sit down after that game and start figuring out what, what our lineup is going to look like for Thursday.